Now let's get to Gaethje. Gaethje and Fiziev. Um, I felt like Raphael was a little bit undersized for 155. He didn't. He didn't look. He didn't look as big as Gaethje. Gaethje did a much better job of staying tight, uh, controlled, and, and accurate with the stuff. He didn't get too wild and loose. Uh, Raphael Faziz was trying to take his head off with every every punch, every combination. He was throwing big power every time. Just was not able to find the mark and get the job done. I think it was a good decision with Gaethje eking out the win there. Third three round fight. You know, Gaethje's been used to a lot of five round fights. So solid win. Get him back in the win column. Now he can look for some bigger, some bigger fish to fry. But there's not a lot of heat. There's not a lot of heat on that fight. There's not a lot of people talking about it. There wasn't a big moment of, oh wow. And Gaethje almost always has some of those moments. So it'll be interesting to see how the fickle uh, pro wrestling slash MMA, I, say, I guess I should air quote MMA fans, really the pro wrestling fans, will react to that. Because yeah, he won, but it wasn't it wasn't what it was supposed to be. We'll see if they give him a rematch with Cowboy or not Cowboy, but uh, uh, Oliveira misspoke. If they give him a rematch with Oliveira or what they do with him next, not sure. There's a lot of, a lot of guys at 55 for him to fight. Fiziev, back to the drawing board. There's still plenty of 55 pounders for him to fight. 